most people don't have a good relationship. They think asking for help makes them weak, but the word help is a good thing. It makes you more valuable. It makes you more powerful, more able. When they were able to ask for help honestly, they also looked at themselves and saw where they were lacking themselves to do what they need to be doing. Because he was open to help them, they were open to help themselves. I wanna talk briefly about the importance of help, H-E-L-P, and hopefully you're taking notes because when you take notes, you can go refer back to this because our minds are filled with all kinds of things. And as our day starts to go on, get distracted. But I want to talk about help today because we've been talking about help inside of our organization and really expressing the, the importance of understanding of how important it is to have a great relationship with the word help. Because most people don't have a good relationship. They think asking for help makes them weak, makes them less valuable. And we always want to make sure that people understand that it makes it does the exact opposite. I know it may be counterintuitive, but the word help is a good thing. It makes you more valuable. It makes you more powerful and more able. And so asking for help is something that we encourage our team to do. Now, we're doing an exercise right now, last week going into this week, where each member of our team is looking to see what they need help with to make themselves be able to reach for their potential and be able to do their job better. And so this is something that, you know, if you work by yourself, if you don't work on a team or if you have a team, you should be encouraging your people to ask for help. You should be able to ask them for help. And if you are on a team where you have a supervisor or manager, you should be not being afraid to ask for help from them, but being really clear on what you need. And you see, most people think help is a bad thing because they've had bad experiences in their past with situations where they ask for help or someone asked for help from them and they were unable to help that person. So I want you all to think about, and we're going to get into this because I'm going to all like, I want to encourage everybody to get vulnerable today because vulnerability is powerful too. I know that's counterintuitive, but if you uh, really think about help for a second, I want you to think about the last time you weren't able to help someone. Our minds get so focused on certain things and then we forget about all the other ways we were able to help them. And this is such an important thing. I can't express this enough because I used to bang my head on the wall when I wanted to help someone and they wouldn't take it. They just wouldn't take it. They wouldn't listen. They wouldn't do what I'm, I know the answer for them. I know the the way out, right? And they just would not accept it. And the problem is I need to start with the topic of help and talk to them about help. Okay. So when's the last time now I want the next thing I want you to think about is when's the last time you were able to help someone? How many times you go throughout your day and you've just had that one little boost or help with one thing. It would take you over to the next level, get you some momentum possibly, but we don't do it for whatever reason. And so I'm really, really leaning into this over the last week with our team. And I wanted to encourage you today to talk about help. And let's pull the definition of help real quick too, because I just want to make sure that we're clear on the definition, which is always important. Help is a verb, make it easier for someone to do something by offering one services or resources, serve someone with a food or drink. And then a noun is the action of helping someone to do something, assistance. Okay, so we've all done help in the past. We've all were able to help people, despite the fact that we may not have been able to help them in certain areas, we can help them in other areas. But it's so important just to get this through everybody's thoughts and minds that help is so important. And it is a great thing to be able to ask for help, give help, and get really clear on what you need help with. When you have have to ask for help for something, you should have tried first. You should have tried to solve a problem first. Right. You know, our kids come to us sometimes, hey, I can't find this. Well, did you look? No, I didn't look. Or they say, yeah, and they didn't really look good. Right. You still got to do your work and make sure that you're asking, you know, you're doing research first before you ask for help. But at the end of the day, we got to ask for help. I was uh, posting a topic about this on social media a while back and a guy reached out to me and said, my buddy saw your post about how important it is to ask for help and it's okay to ask for help. And it saved his life. And I'm not saying this to brag for me, though, so don't take this the wrong way. But this guy saw the post about help. And this is why I'm bringing it up to you guys, not just about work. It's about personal life as well. Saw the post about help. And literally, he had a note written that he was going to leave on the refrigerator for his wife. He had two young kids. And he asked for help because he saw that. He reached out to his buddy. His buddy reached out to me and said he saw that post and he reached out to me. Now, I know somebody close to all of us right now is dealing with some personal issues right now. And it has to do with asking for help. And that person needs to ask for help. And this is a main big topic when it comes to personal life relationships, but also your production and your business. And so there's a CEO that I talked to last week. He's getting ready to exit this company for a billion plus dollars. And he took that company over in January, 2020, right before COVID really got announced. And he turned this company around. And the one thing he did was he drove to all the locations that they had throughout the country in person and asked the people, where do they need help? And it changed the company around because the people opened and asked for help. And not only that, When they were able to ask for help, honestly, they also looked at themselves and saw where they were lacking themselves to do what they need to be doing. 
because he was open to help them. They were open to help themselves. Does that make sense? 